can't forget to put my earrings in because I don't want to be looking bald. <laughs> Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another Get Ready With Me. Now today we are getting ready, but we're also testing out one new product in today's video, and that is going to be the concealer from Makeup by Mario. So you guys should know at this point, especially if this isn't your first like Get Ready With Me, I love, love, love this foundation. I do have the shade 14O. We will be using her today. And I'm also going to pair it with the concealer because I just want to use his products, at least the ones I have in my collection, just to kind of see how it all wears together. So we will be using the foundation. We're also going to be using the cream like contour stick and the cream blush. I only have one shade in that blush, by the way, so I don't even remember. I think it's like orangey kind of color. But the concealer looks like this. And holding up the concealer against the foundation I'm kind of concerned because I wasn't really thinking when I was looking at the concealers yesterday in Sephora but um, it's giving concealer might be a little darker than the foundation I don't know we'll see though so we may have to use another concealer on top maybe just like I don't know maybe my NARS maroon glaze in the inner corner just to give it a little brightness if you will the concealers were kind of hard to decide it, there isn't really any cool tones as far as I could tell so yeah I had very limited information to work with when I went there it was on a whim and I didn't I wasn't home I was just out and I was like you know what I'm gonna stop at my Sephora and pick up that concealer so here we are all right so we're gonna start with first of all pulling the hair out the face because we don't need our hair getting in the way while we're trying to do our makeup. And also, I just want to make note, this is probably the last get ready with me that you guys will see my hair this color, if you will. We have an appointment coming up, which I'm super excited about. So, anyways, let's get into primer and somebody is playing loud music outside. I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I'm just going to... Use a little bit of this. I was debating between this one and the e.l.f. primer with SPF. I mean, we could always use extra SPF, but I do apply it, you know, in the morning during my morning skincare routine. So I do have SPF on, and I kind of just like how smooth of a canvas that this um, primer gives. So we're just going to use her today. It's like a moisturizer on your skin, honestly. And I do want to take it down here as well because I will probably apply a little bit of um, product down there. So I'm trying to decide do I want to do an underpainting method or do I want to just do like the what I consider to be the normal application of applying your makeup which is foundation, concealer, you know, that whole thing or do I want to start with the cream contour. I think I'm going to start with cream contour even if I have to apply a little extra after I apply the foundation just because I just really love using less product but still achieving like a flawless look and that's kind of like the routine I've been doing. Yeah, this is it. That's the routine I've been doing. So I'm going to go in with the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick in medium and can I twist her up? What did I do? Oh, okay. Here she goes. I thought I broke her. So, this is the shaping stick, which isn't new, so you guys should probably know what that looks like by now. But I'm going to use a little bit of her, and I am going to use a brush to apply. I'm just going to use this one. This is the Morphe M523 brush, and I'm going to saturate it with some product, and then go in on the cheekbones. I do feel like this is more like a natural kind of contour. It's not too harsh. There's, you know, time to like work with the product and warm it up and just get it built up to the pigmentation that you like or would prefer. So I do enjoy using this for that purpose. Although I feel like the foundation is definitely more on like the 
higher medium side of foundations. I wouldn't necessarily classify it as full coverage per se. You could achieve some really great coverage with it, but I wouldn't classify it as a full coverage foundation. And I don't even know if it's classified that way, to be honest. I'm just talking off the top of my head, to be honest. So we're going to apply a little bit of this. Like I said, I'm nine times out of 10. I'm going to go back into this after I apply the foundation. I'm going to use a little bit of this on the nose, kind of like how I did the last time. I mean, I always try to contour my nose in some way, shape, or form, even if I don't really know what I'm doing. But I'm also going to take it in the crease of my um, eyelids as well, because I really liked that technique of just popping it like right in here. It just gave such a natural, effortless look to the eyes without doing too much. And also sculpting out, you know, like that eye area. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of this in there as well. Just kind of, you know, call it a day as far as that goes. Because we're not really going to be doing, we're not doing any eyeshadow actually today. I'm really hoping that with fall coming up, I do feel the need to do more eyeshadow looks. Because I feel like that's where I lack is in different, you know, eyeshadow looks as to where before I was always producing an eyeshadow look in every single video. I just don't know. Eyeshadow is not something I wear every day anymore. You know, I just don't feel like it's necessary to put on every time that I want to sit down and do makeup. I really have been loving like the natural no makeup makeup kind of look. But we will see. Just let me know if that's something you guys want to see more of. And then I will definitely get that done for you guys. It'll probably give me the push I need to, you know, do more of it. All right, so now that we have that applied, we're going to go in with our foundation first. Although, normally I would probably go in with the concealer. But I'm going to use the foundation first. Um, I'm just going to use my hands to just dot it onto the skin. I don't want to grab too much of the foundation but I want to make sure I'm grabbing enough for the areas that I need it in. I feel like my application process is like so different every time I do my makeup. It's never the same. It might seem similar but it's not. And then to blend this out I'm actually going to use my puff. Because you guys know I actually love using this. Or should I use... I'm actually going to use this. This is the e.l.f. Complexion Duo Brush. I'm actually going to pick up another one today when I'm out. But I'm going to use this just to like tap the product into the skin. And then I'll go on top with um, the sponge. You guys see? Like you still get your natural skin especially using as little product as I did. You just gotta work it in. Work it in and build it up. In my opinion, it's better to put, you know, not enough and always being able to add versus putting too much because then it's harder to take away. And it just gives like the most natural glow to the skin and if you don't like glowy you can always set it which we will do I'm gonna apply the concealer and again I am in the shade 340 in this concealer or at least that's the shade I picked up and I'm gonna apply this underneath the eyes but I'm not gonna blend it out right away so the brush is really tiny which I love. If the NARS, um, what is it? This one right here, this Radiant Creamy Concealer, it's so thin, which is part of why I love it, but if it went on as smooth as this, I feel like a lot, of, a lot more people would really enjoy the concealer because it really is a good like consistency and stuff and the way that it blends on the skin and all of that. But this is applying like butter. And I'm already starting to tell from applying it that it is a little bit darker than my 
um, foundation, which is kind of a problem. So we're going to need a lighter shade in that. I'm going to have to take that back and get a lighter shade. So we will be going on top once we do blend it out with the soft matte concealer from NARS just to make it work for today, but it's definitely darker than my foundation, I feel. And not brightening, obviously. So yeah. Mm -hmm. This probably would be more so of a concealer that I could use if I wanted like a no foundation type of makeup look where you just use concealer. I do feel like a tingly kind of sensation under the eyes. I'm not sure that's a good sign. We'll give it a minute. Now that it's blended in, it doesn't seem as dark as it did just applying it right here in the inner corner, but I don't know how I feel about it. My feelings are, I don't know. I can't really say that I love it, but I can't say that I hate it. It does look like glowy. I guess I don't know it looks more of like a radiant type of concealer which honestly the finish doesn't matter to me because I can always set it down with some powder but it does give more of like that natural radiant type of concealer it's not mattifying that's for sure it blended pretty easily so we have that just trying to talk myself through this and see how am I really feeling I don't know, I might be able to work with this shade of concealer, personally. But I may just go back and get the lighter shade. Not even exchange this one, like maybe just keep this one. Let me know what you guys think. You think I should keep this shade of concealer? I don't feel like it's horrible. Initially on application, like when I just put it under the eyes and didn't blend it out, I felt like it was too dark. And looking at it in the bottle against the foundation also looked too dark but now that it's on my skin it's blended out I feel like it's it's all right it's not it's not bad you know I don't know I'm torn on what to do because it's like do I love it enough to have two concealers in two different shades of the same type of concealer you get what I'm saying or is it just like okay to where like one shade is like good enough? I think I'm going to need your guys' opinion on this. What should I do? Should I keep this shade and get a lighter shade so I can have both options? Or do I return this one and just get the lighter shade? What do I do? Let me know down in the comments. Because I'm torn. I don't, I don't really know. We're going to give it... A little minute to see what this whole self-setting is all about I don't know how much time I'm gonna give it though so I don't have too much time to give but in the meantime in between time we can use some cream blush oh this is a really really vibrant blush but this is um from obviously makeup by Mario but they're soft pop blush stick and soft coral so it's just like this orange kind of color which kind of falls, summer, fall, spring, all the seasons outside of winter. Um, blush. Oh, we're just going to use this brush. Oh, she vibrant. Alright, I'm just going to use a little bit of blush. Not too much. Not too much. Just a little bit. I don't really want a whole lot of blush today. Yeah, that's, that's about it. That's about all the blush I want. Personally, I can't wait too long for this to self-set. I mean, I don't really know what it's supposed to do, but I'm definitely setting. But before we set anything down, before I forget, I do want to go in with the NARS Soft Matte in Maroon Glace just to brighten things up a little bit. So I'm going to apply a little bit of this. I've been loving like layering my concealers. So I'm just going to use a small amount in the inner part of the eye. And I'm also going to take it in the center as well. Because personally, I just like 
a brighter middle area of my face lately is what I've been loving. I used to love it, then I was like mm, not really feeling it, and then now I'm back to loving it yet again. So here we are, just adding a little bit of this, not too much though, right here. Just, it just adds a little brightness and coverage too. You can definitely tell that the soft matte concealer is a lot more, like has more coverage to offer than the Makeup by Mario concealer. You can just, or at least I can tell, I can definitely tell. I feel like once I set this down, that's when everything is just gonna like come together. So I'm going to use some of the Givenchy uh, Prism Libre. I do need to actually tap this so that some of the product can come to the top because I kind of used it all that was there. But I am going to use this under the eyes and in the T-zone first to set all of the concealer basically. So right in here. Just for a nice bright under eye effect. Go ahead and press it right into there. And I'm just mixing all the powders in here. If you missed my last makeup video, I did test this out in that video. Well, technically, I already used it. But if you watch that video, you know why I say that. So I'm just gonna apply it here. This powder is just really, really pretty on the skin. It just makes everything just look so flawless. And then right in here, between the brows. See? Matte just makes everything look better. And then, for the face, I'm going to use, again, the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. And I need a brush for this. I'm just going to actually use this same brush. This is what we used for the foundation. And I'm just going to tap this on the outer parts and bronzer area. And of course the forehead. That's important. And then I'm actually going to use another loose powder. Um, we're going to take a little bit of the Huda in what is this because I never remember banana bread and I'm just gonna use it right here to clean up the bronzer a little bit just a little bit of it because it's more of like a colored powder I don't want a pink powder there necessarily so just right here just to clean this up a little bit not too much of it though now it's time to set all of these powders down I did use a, a lot of powder, I would say. You know, I use two loose powders and one face setting powder, but I just feel like that's necessary for me personally. You don't have to do that. It's just what I feel works best for me. And I'm going to melt everything in with the ColourPop setting mist. And just really saturate my base in this. I went in a little too hard over here with my bronzer but I am applying this one from NARS this is the Laguna matte bronzer I applied a little too much so I'm just trying to <laughs> blend her out because she was looking crazy and I'm just gonna apply a small amount on top of the cream bronzer although I feel like the cream contour bronzer what is it actually it's a sculpting stick so I would say it was a cream contour um, we used enough of that to where like I don't need too much bronzer but I do want a little all right do you guys think we have enough bronzer or or not I think we have enough okay um and then I said highlight so for highlight I'm gonna use that same Sephora palette which also by the way I noticed they do not have this palette in Sephora anymore they have other ones I should have gotten a newer one to kind of play around with because obviously by me using this in my 
videos and stuff, I know that is probably something you can't get your hands on, but I do love it so much. So you're going to have to excuse me on that one, but I will try to find another highlight that I love just as much as this one. And hopefully it's one, well obviously it's going to have to be one that is on the market now for you guys to get your hands on if you're interested in it. But I really, really love this. It just... I'm not going to stop using it until I don't have any left. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. But for the sake of, you know, being relatable, I guess, I will find a new one. Alright, let's go ahead and take these out. And that is it, you guys. I did apply my gloss. So for gloss, I just used right here. This is the Sephora Gloss in Outrageous and it is plumping as well so it has like a plump effect but it's not uncomfortable it doesn't sting like other glosses can and I absolutely am obsessed with this gloss specifically in this shade because you guys know I don't really do color but I feel like they do have like darker color options this is just like a clear pink one this also isn't the first time you guys see this but just in case anybody's new here yeah I love that gloss but this is the look finished and complete I can get dressed now so I can go do what I gotta do, but overall I think I am obsessed with the way this look came out. Actually looks really pretty, very on brand for upcoming fall season, just very bronzy in my opinion. This is actually a little bit more bronzy than I intended to go, but hey, I'm not mad about it. As far as the concealer, I will wait for your guys' feedback before I exchange it, return it, whatever it is that I end up doing, because I really want to know what you guys think I should do. Personally, sitting here now with everything finished, I feel like I actually do like the concealer. I personally do not mind, you know, applying a secondary concealer as we did, so using these two together, I love. I think it came out really nice, and plus, I only really used a very small amount of this. I have more of this on than I do this and I feel like I could use this on its own if I didn't want that like really bright under eye effect so I will continue to play with this and try it in different ways but again I will wait on your feedback before I do anything that is all I have for you guys today I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me as always make sure you subscribe to the channel also if you want more beauty content outside of like youtube videos definitely check out my lemonade profile it will be linked down below with all the social media links that i have so you guys can follow me on other platforms as well but with all of that being said i hope to see each and every one of you in my next upload whether that be a video or a vlog you never know with me but at the end of the day we're gonna upload so make sure you're subscribed bell notification on and i will see you guys in my next one mm -hmm.